Hello YouTube Retro Chef here. It's Sunday and now I'm sweating there. This weekend's been mad. Friday, Saturday had loads of rain around here. This morning I went to the car boot, didn't pick up a lot, and then all of a sudden in the afternoon it's sunny. On this Father's Day Bonanza. Right, this is a pickups um, eBay car boot gum tree eBay. Yeah, that's it. I don't know if you can see that, that's uh, Twilight Princess on the Wii. I've got it on, but I can't even see it myself. So bloody bright in there. But yeah, um, first things first. Woodland, 37, Mr. Kyle, how are you? Oh, it's going to taste good, this is. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've had a busy week of work this week, another busy week. I think because it's getting near to the summer. I've got a lot of jobs on at work. So, yeah, busy old week. So, the people I'm sending stuff out to, um, it's in the post now, so you should get it soon. Um, yeah, so that's good. So, this I'm going to do show you my um, eBay pickups first. I've got three pickups from eBay, three separate buys. No, they came all during the week. I didn't get a chance to go to a charity shop, but I did get I did, I did go and get, uh, collect something from Gumtree. So the first three pickups from, um, sorry, the first, yeah, first three pickups from eBay, I should say. This game, I've not really seen much of it. I'll tell you what, what made me buy it. I picked up the other week um, Blade Seven or Seven Blades, and uh, inside the actual game. Was a um, little pamphlet, Konami, Konami, and uh, it had a load of list of games. Uh, some of them I've even heard of. So I thought, look on eBay, they're, they're all pretty cheap. So I've got a couple more of them coming, but this is the first one that's come. It's called Ring of Red. Now it's like an RPG strategy game. It's it's actually quite a good little game. It's all in there complete. Uh, it's the old blue discs. So that's one of your first ones. Um, it's a bit like Final Fantasy in the fact that it's a role play game, role play strategy. But it's like, um, then it's a twist because at the same time it's like Metal Gear because you've got like these big juggernaut tanks and like army people and you have to fight. It's a it's a strange game, but it's a good game. I'm saying I recommend it. I, and I paid a pound for that. One pound, and I think it was one pound twenty to send it. Come in a little jiffy bag. Um, but yeah, so. Ring of Red. Next one. Um, when I was a kid, I used to love this character. They kind of, this kind of died a death now, disappeared altogether. Um, and even when they made the films, the films were rubbish. But um, I've been told, or I've read, I should say, this is the, one of the better games out of the set of genre. And that's, uh, well, Gadget and the Gadgetinis. But I think everyone knows him as Inspector Gadget. But I played it. It's not bad. It's like a 3D um, puzzle game, like a bit like um, Mario N64. You go around and one or two bits and pieces. Now, the graphics are really good. I was quite impressed with that. But all the voices are just all different. They're all from the new TV program, which it says on here on Fox Kids. So yeah, I got this from E Stocker or E Stock. On eBay, that's pretty complete. And I think that was one pound, one pound sixty, one seventy, or one forty. It was free to send it, so it's not a bad little game. It's quite good. Now this one, I was speaking to Rob Tino Triple Seven, and um, he likes Wu Tang. I quite like Wu Tang, and I didn't even know I. I, I thought I had this game, but I didn't. Uh, and I picked it up off thinking of him, so. This Wu Tang Taste of Pain. And this is a really good game. I was quite shocked. I thought it would be a load of rubbish. But it actually, it's quite good. It's got really good music in it. It's fully complete. This cost me £3 and £1.60, 70 to send it. It's all in there. It's all really nice condition. Yeah, so. Rob, you inspired me, mate, to buy this. So that was all my eBay. 
next little bundle. I've got 11 games plus a memory card, which is in my old PS2 at the minute. Um, got this through Gumtree. I saw someone put basically 11 PS2 games. Didn't put any. Didn't list them what they was. Didn't put any any info really about them. So I emailed the person. Not got nothing back straight away. So I didn't think anything about it. Uh, this is about two weeks ago. I messaged them. I think. So anyway, two weeks ago, messaged them nothing. And then in the middle of the week, I think it was Tuesday, Wednesday, got an email saying, Hi, yep, the game is still for sale. This is the list. And the list is not a bad little list, really. Uh, re you know, some good titles in there. I've got most of them. I only, I only really wanted, well, well, I only really won a game, but three of them I haven't got. So I've got all these 11 games plus a memory card for £5. And I collected it, uh, it was local to me in Chelmsford. So, the first one, these are all complete as well. So I've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a good game. This is fully complete. I've already got this one though. So that's up for trade if anyone's interested. Shadow the Hedgehog. Fully complete. It's all in there. Have a little drinks as well in here. Shadow Hedgehogs are doubles also, that's up for grabs. Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legends, or Legend. That's complete. I've already got this, so this is up for trades. Need for Speed Carbon. It's complete. I've already got that, so that's up for trades if anyone wants it. Peter Jackson's King Kong. It's all complete. These are really nice condition. Some of these look like they haven't been playing. The manual in this is mint. Prince of Persia Sands of Time. Again, I've got this one. It's all in there, nice condition. Def Jam Vendetta. The manual's not in here, but I've got the manuals in my car. It fell out. That's complete as well. This game's a good one, and I've already got this, which is a shame. Kingdom Hearts 2. It's complete. So that's up for grabs if anyone's interested. And the last three I need. Not really, no, two of them. Well, I don't think they're that good, but we'll see. I'll go have them. Fantastic Four. Looks a bit like um, X-Men Legends. The actual way it come down, on, you know, you're attacking that. That's complete. This one I haven't got. Hot Wheels uh, Stunt Track Challenge. What's his name? That's complete. I haven't got that. The other, in the game, I actually, when I saw the list, I wanted. Uh, I haven't got this and I haven't heard much about it um, but it's one of those games when you see the name of the title you've got to have it really I guess but it's um, Final Fight Streetwise now I turned it on and I watched the beginning I mean it looks alright it's all in this complete um, so it's a lot different than the original but yeah so all those all those 11 games plus a memory card official black uh, 8 megabyte one it was a fiver and I collected them what, two minutes down the road so so today's car boot like I said uh, it's Friday Saturday rained it rained loads up here or down here or where I am so I wasn't expecting that much and to be honest I didn't get I didn't get a great deal but I got one or two little games you know um, I went to two car boots today. I was going to go to a third one, but by the time I got round near it, I, I just couldn't be bothered. I took my daughter with me, uh, my eldest daughter. Bless her, she was up early with me and she was tired. But yeah, no, I didn't get great. I didn't get anything major. But I picked, I say, picked up one or two little bits. Just, you know, we'll go for them all. The first one, I went to a stall. He had quite a few play PS1 games. But all the games I had, he had um, all the, what do you have, uh, like Crash Bandicoot and a few Street Fighter ones, a few Tunnel B1, all the games that when it first come out, nothing I haven't got. But one game stuck out, and um, this is one of the first games I actually bought on the PS1. Uh, my brother bought it for me actually, and we went to 308 Games, if you remember that ball, on Holloway Road, back in the day. It's not, it's now it's gone back to a model shop. But we went to 308 Games and we bought this game. 
And if, if I'm right, it is the it is basically flashback two. Uh, and that's Fate to Black. Because the man in the game is called Conrad Hart. And I'm pretty sure that's the name of the geezer in the in flashback. But yeah, Fate to Black. It's all in there, the box is seeing better days, but you know. And that was 50p. So I'll be on that later. Um went to a school and they had a lot of like kiddie games if you will and my daughter was oh you know let's get this one so I, yeah, I got a few of them first one is Tom and Jerry War of Whiskers uh, it's not actually in there it's upstairs she's been playing it but it's that's complete that was 50p this one I bought um, so I, I bought for myself I haven't got this one actually on the, on the PS2 it's uh, Star Wars original trilogy Sorry, Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, or trilogy, whatever you want to say. That's, that's complete. That was 50p. Quite a lot of 50p today. This one my daughter picked up. Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights. Now I've got this on the GameCube, but when I, we saw this, so she loves Scooby-Doo. That was 50p. And Mostin, I got it. Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart, or Crash Nitro Kart. It's a platinum edition, but it'll yeah, do for now to find another one. It's all in there. That was 50p. That was off one stall. And then I went to. There was a geezer about in his 30s. He had loads of PS2 games, loads and loads of PS2 games. But again, all the ones I've got. So I was going for them. I thought maybe I'll get a few for trade if anyone, you know, maybe anything good for trade. but loads of football games, Pro Evolution Soccer, he had all of them, all the FIFAs, um, and he had um, Need for Speeds and that, but say I've already picked up a couple of them. But I grabbed two games off him anyway, this one because my one's a bit damaged, so I've got Need for Speed most wanted, because my one, my one was all damaged, um, this is actually my damaged box one, I've, I've already swapped it over. But it was all broken, my one. I don't know how it all broke, but so it needs to be. So that's that's a double. And then he had this. Now Paul, my brother, you remember I had this as well. And I don't know what happened to this, so maybe you know. And it's Transformers. It's in this little cardboard box. It's basically Transformers Armada. I think. Um. Yeah, I've got this and Need for Speed together for a pound, so 50p each. He wanted, I think he wanted a pound each. But we had so many people at the store looking and asking questions. I kind of said, oh, I'll, give you, I'll give you a pound for both. And he went, yeah, 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 all right. So I gave him a pound and I run off. So it's nothing special in here. There's no, I, don't, I can't see, it doesn't say on here many extras, but it's in a box. It's in a little cardboard box. The game's in there, in a normal box. So be careful because this box is it's in nice condition but the box is at the sides of it coming away so I have to glue it down I'm pretty because if you know your transformers you know by the writing look at the writing you know that's Armada is that sad shall I not know that but that means it's Armada because of the writing so and I, I say I had that and I quite enjoyed that game um, a few more bits in the city I ain't got a lot today another stall um, an old lady like someone's nan she was in her 60s maybe maybe even in her early 70s she had loads of clothes and knickknacks loads of old took really to be honest but she had a couple of games on the table and um, I've got these on Gamecube and Xbox yes Gamecube and Xbox have got these games you'll see when you, when you see them she wanted a pound each so I gave her a pound each so Broken Sword this is Broken Sword 3, I, I think you can call it, but it's Broken Sword, uh, the Sleeping Dragon, it's complete, I've got it on the Xbox and it's, it's way better on the Xbox, but, so that was a pound, and Killer 7, this is a really good game on the um, GameCube, um, I don't know how it's going to hold out on the P PS2, I mean, effectively the PS2 
Would you say it's a, a better computer in the fact of the graphics than the GameCube? I beg to differ, I think the GameCube's better. But for a pan, it's Killer7. Uh, and on the GameCube, I really like this. It's a two disc on the GameCube, but it's only, it's only one disc on the old PS2. But uh, it's a good game. So I might have to put it in to compare it. Um, but yeah, that was a pound. Now, the last two items I've got, this is for when I went to the second car boot, um, and it was about half nine ten, which is, you know, fair late, I guess, if for a car boot. In the fact, if you want to get there, if you want to get all the good stuff, if you want to go early. So, I'll move this about. You see, oh. so I went to. Went to this stall. Uh, geezer must be my age, 30, 31, maybe a little bit younger. He had a um, PS2 fat console with about 10 games. He was selling as a as a as a bulk, one of 30 pounds, which ain't a fair, fair, you know, it's not a bad little deal. I've already got a couple of them, so I didn't bother. The games won all that, so I didn't bother asking him. And an N64 with. Um, International Superstar Soccer, uh, Wrestling, uh, WrestleMania 2000, which I've already got, Snowball Kids, which I wanted, but you wouldn't sell it to me, Mario Mario 64, and GoldenEye. He wanted £25 for that bu bundle, which again is not a bad little deal. Uh, then he, he must have had a GameCube, because he had GameCube games. But only, I got the last two really, uh, and he said he sold quite a few, and he said he had Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 on a GameCube, so I was like, I missed out on them, I can't believe it. Um, he wasn't asking that much money, so I'm, I'm guessing what I paid for these, he probably would have done the same deal. So let me just say that again. He had Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 on the GameCube, and I didn't get them because I didn't get there early enough. Because I went to another car boot, which I thought would have been better. So, never mind. So what I did pick up, I've got... Spiraled Enter the Dragonfly on a GameCube. Really nice condition. He looked after his stuff. Really nice condition. And I got, which I've already got this, but I, I couldn't leave it. It was, you know, I got the Donkey Kong drums and the game. I got both games and the drums all together for three quid. Now I've already got the drums and I've already got this game. I haven't got the other game, which is I think it's in green. I think it's Donkey Kong 2. So. I'm debating whether or not to let these go, swap them, trade them, sell them, because I know you can play two player on this, but I've got this already boxed in the shit in the shed. So I don't know what to do. But that so those two and the drums all together three quid. So that was a good deal, but I'm, I was kicking myself about Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3. Um Yeah, that was mad. But that's 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 it, that's all me pickups this week not a lot um, hopefully well, I mean next weekend I've got, got my, my, my missus family coming over I think no no not this week, next weekend I'm doing something next weekend I think my, my parents are coming Sunday so I'm not I don't think I'm going car boot but I trade of another tuba so hopefully I get his stuff Monday Tuesday um, and he'll probably do a video, and I'll do a video when I get his stuff. Um, but yeah, no, that's it. That's that's my my Sunday pickups. Not a lot. A couple of Google little games there. I mean, like, there's some there for trade. If anyone wants any of the ones I went through, um, if you're interested in the drums, message me. I'm not made my mind up yet. I might let them go. So I have got them. But again, I might let the game go, not the drums, because it's you know it's a good two player game to play. Um, Again, thank you for everyone, all my new subs. I'm well over 100 now, I think I'm 115, 116, uh, which is, I'm really happy about that. I'm trying to, I want to try and get as high as I can. So if I get 200, I want to do a, a giveaway. I can put the old names in yet. Um, this week I'm not that busy at work, <clears throat> so I should be able to get out during the week, get some bits if I can. Uh, I haven't been to the charity shop in over a week, week and a half. Um, Coop Master General Lee, I haven't forgot you mate, I've, to I've just
been mad busy. Uh, I need to you know, send you some cash. And I want to ask you about one of the other games you picked up, whether or not you've got it. So I must do that. Um, I've been messaging and I've been speaking to Mostin Retro Game Hunter 100. Hope you're right, mate. Had a good chat on the phone. Uh, Carl, I've been trying to get in touch with you, but you're awkward. You're hard to get hold of, mate. Um, I've tried to call you today, but I've, I've totally forgot you was working. So I might try and give you a ring later. Uh, Daz, Cajonus Deloro, I know you had a problem with the mask system. <laughs> Hand on heart, it was working before I sent it. I actually was playing it, that's what I'm a bit confused about. But maybe I'm going to give you a ring later, maybe you can explain to me what's going on. If not, I've got my one, which I know I've, I've been using that as well. So uh, we can sort that out. If there is a problem, if not, then that's good. Uh, Rob, hopefully we can meet up soon, sort our little deal out. Um, and I've seen Ocarina Fella, another Kyle, who's after my Saturn. Um, I messaged you back when you PM'd me. I haven't heard from you yet. Um, I've still got that one. I've still got the Saturn, the Xbox and the PS1 and the PS2 from my trades to consoles. Um, so if anyone wants them, but the Saturn, I think, is going to be going to Ocarina Fell. I'm not sure. Well, we haven't sorted anything out, but at the same time, he, cut, he was one of the first to come to me along with another YouTuber. Um, keep saying, um. Grub Gum, I've got a PMU as well. So we we talked about a trade, um, and you said you can let me know what games you was after. And I know you gave me a list, and then you said to me to hold fire. I've got a couple of them sitting up in my shed or me well my brick shed not, what do you call a brick shed our house where it is over there they're in there so i'm going to pm you later as well mate um try and sort out our deal i'm not sure if you sent the item or not because you said you was lazy and you weren't sure if you, what you were doing so i'm not quite sure uh, <laughs> and thanks for everyone for watching um yeah that's it guys, um, next weekend hopefully I'll do, I'll do another video, I want to try and do a few more bits, do a community question maybe to, uh, this afternoon, this evening, maybe in the week, got a few ideas, I want to try and do a few, few things different, try and change my channel and the fact of um, where I'm going with it, maybe when I put this video up you might see an intro, if, if, if I can figure out how to do it, I'm no good with computers so my wife might be doing it for me. I don't know if it's. I'm just trying to do something a little bit different. So I'm doing the same pickups at the minute. I'm not really playing the games in front of you, and I'm not doing any meet the tubers. I know I was on one, but I'm not, I'm not doing anything like that. I want to try and meet up with a couple of people. You know, see how things go. But thanks for watching. Thanks for all my comments, all my new subscribers. Hope you enjoy the channel. PM me anything you want to know, any games. Or, you know, anything else, anything you've seen me in the last couple of videos you're interested in. That someone asked me about my t-shirts. Where I get my fabulous t-shirts from. Most of them are just, or well, a couple of them from Tesco's. I know I saw Carl with the one, the Turtles one I got, which was from Tesco's. This one, my wife got me. Um, yeah, but yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching and I'll um, see you again soon.